Samuel was born in Tennessee November 13, 1833, the son of Reverend John Kirkendall and Anna Henry. He came with his family to Texas in 1852 in a covered wagon. Samuel married Anna Warwick, February 6, 1857, in Bell County, Texas. In 1859, they had a daughter, Dorcas. However, this was a turbulent time, and with the country about to erupt in civil war, settling down and raising a family was impossible. On August 12, 1861, Confederate soldiers fired on Fort Sumter and began the Civil War. In 1863, with the war fully joined by both sides, Samuel enlisted in the Confederacy as other family members had. However, when, the, when he saw a slave being beaten, he deserted. He had to swim a river with his boots on while under fire to escape. He then joined the Union Army Texas Volunteers. <laughs> was discharged October 31st, 1865 at the close of the war. He returned to his wife and daughter in Texas, but was shunned by friends and family because of his service for the Northern Army. One story goes he took Anna and Dorcas to Mexico, where they contracted a disease and died. No record has been found of Anna or Dorcas after the 1860 census. However, there is some question as to the fate of Anna, because Samuel fathered four more children between 1869 and 1874, when he married his second wife, Elizabeth. Many family members believe Samuel and Elizabeth were married earlier, and the marriage in 1874 simply formalized it. Finding an 1870 census showing Samuel, Anna, or Elizabeth might clear this up, but such, such a census has not yet been found. On April 4th, 1874, Samuel married Elizabeth Matthews in Bell County, Texas. One of their many children was William Kirkendall, who went on to marry Annie Josephine Lee and begin the New Mexico branch of the Kirkendall family. In 1892, Samuel made application for disability pension relating to his military service. He was still living in Texas at the time, but must have moved to Arizona soon after because by the time he had filed for homestead on 240 acres in Arizona in 1904, he already owned another ranch plus a home in Douglas, Arizona. He was 70 by then. There's an interesting story relating to the Kirkendalls that occurred early January 1910. Samuel Kirkendall, his son Ernest, a man named Owen Plum, and two Mexican hired hands were cutting wood. When Ernest was paying the men, the Mexicans hit him and Owen Plum in the head with their axes. Samuel went for the rifle on his horse, but he was 76 years old, nearly blind and palsied. The Mexicans got to the horse first, and he was forced to hide in the bushes. It was getting dark, so the Mexicans had to give up their search for him. In the meantime, Ernest was able to crawl to the bushes and hide. While going for help, Samuel fell in a well and wasn't discovered until the next day. Owen Plum died there. Ernest died a few days later on January 10, 1910. I have the full newspaper accounts of this event if anyone is interested.
This picture was taken at a family reunion in 1947. Samuel and Elizabeth were both gone by then, as was Ernest, who was killed by Mexicans in 1910, and his twin sister Della, who died in 1946. Samuel died June 8, 1913 in Pirtleville near Douglas, Arizona. He was buried in the Wills Cemetery near Douglas. Elizabeth died many years later on her son William's ranch in Lawn, New Mexico. She was also buried in the Wills Cemetery. Anyone interested in visiting the cemetery should contact me for a map and GPS coordinates. Samuel is an interesting person who lived through some turbulent times. We have a lot of documents relating to Samuel, but very few pictures of him, Elizabeth, or the family, and I've never seen a picture of Anna Warwick or Dorcas. We would appreciate any pictures you could share with us. If anyone viewing this video has pictures, documents, stories, or information to add, could you please contact me, Wayne Kirkendall, at wkirkendall at packbell.net. The only document I have showing Samuel's birth date is his death certificate which shows November 13, 1833. This may be an error. I say this because his sister Mary was born July 4, 1834, less than eight months later. In addition, there is an 1850 census from Tishomingo, Mississippi, taken in October, which shows Sam as 19, three years older than his death certificate would indicate. Mary's age is consistent at 16. Perhaps his actual birth year was a little earlier. 